Good morning, Bloom Trojans. This is a Tuesday show. Coming up on today's edition of Bloom Scene, we get to know mo more members of prom court. I am your host, Jasmine Perez. On activities, we have Darian Walker, and on sports, we have Matt Howard. It is Tuesday, April 25th. There are only 10 episodes left this school year, and you are watching Bloom Scene. Now for our top story, happy prom week. Just a couple of reminders about the big day. You must bring your ticket from the bookstore and ID to get in. Guests will also need an ID. The door will close at 8.30 and no one will be allowed in after. The dress code will be strictly enforced. This is a formal affair and your attire should match that. Please read over the dress code in your prom packet. You will not have time to run home and change before post-prom, so bring an extra set of clothes to change into. The weather is looking chilly, Bring a hoodie and some jeans. All school rules are strictly enforced. Finally, in prom news, we have been learning about the members of this year's prom court in recent episodes. Today, we learn more about Marquise Morel and Angelica Rangel. Next on prom court, we have Marquise Merrill and Angelica Rangel. Marquise likes to work and make money. His favorite class is culinary arts and his favorite teacher is Miss Scott. If he could bring a celebrity to prom, it would be Jada Weta or Ruby Rose. He hopes to dance to California Breeze by Lil Baby. His perfect prom night will be this prom. Angelica is outgoing, adventurous, optimistic, and understanding. She enjoys going to the gym, hanging out with friends, dancing, and road trips. Her favorite class would have to be first period PE. It's her favorite class because it's a class she has a lot of friends in. She says she has a love-hate relationship with the class. Her favorite teacher has to be Mrs. Misaglia. She is so sweet and is always there for students. Her prom date is a very handsome guy. If she could take a celebrity to prom, it would be Hasbullah. When asked what song she wanted to hear at prom, she replied, To be honest, I don't have a specific song I'd like to hear, but I do hope to enjoy and listen to Hispanic music with them to dance to. Her perfect prom night would be first and foremost getting ready on time taking pictures with her prom date, and then going to prom to have a good night dancing and hanging out with friends. After prom, she and her date will go out to eat and continue the night. As I said, we will get to know the final members of prom court tomorrow, so you have plenty of time to make an informed decision before voting at prom. That's it for announcements. Let's go to Darian with your activities. Thanks, Jasmine. D&D &D Club will meet tomorrow, Wednesday, April 26th, after school in room 104. Bloom's Fine Arts Department held its annual Fine Arts Week, March 13th through 17th. Students were treated to different artistic experiences all week. Here is Mr. O'Connell from Bloom Trail teaching students how to use masks to create art. I already introduced myself, I'm Mr. O'Connell. I don't usually teach arts or anything artistic. Uh, so a couple things about me. Uh, I teach math. Calculus and I teach statistics. And I teach, I've been teaching 16 years over in trail, and every once in a while I've had a blue class too. So, um, We will be sharing more events from Fine Arts Week before the end for the year. In, the fire, in other Fine Arts news, you are cordially invited to the Spring Choir and Band Concerts on Saturday, May 6th at Bloom High School in the Workman Auditorium. It is two wonderful events in one day. The Choir Concerts at 2 p.m. and the Band Concerts at 6 p.m. You can reserve your tickets on Eventbrite. Links were sent to your school email but you can also find those links in the description of this episode on YouTube. That is it for activities, now let's go to Matt with sports. Things Darion and girls soccer team play moment. Last Thursday, we won nine to zero. Unfortunately, we lost to Mother Macaulay this past Friday. Yesterday, Monday, April 24th, we played home with Flossmore. We should have a score for that game tomorrow. The girls are currently seven and six at one 
overall, five and one in conference. They play Thorwood tomorrow. The varsity baseball team lost to Cree Moni this past Thursday. But we had a big win over Eisenhower on Saturday with a score of 10 to 5. They played Thornridge on Monday, and we are waiting for the score. The boys are currently 5 and 7 overall, 3 and 3 in conference. The baseball team is up against Hammond today and Kicking Key tomorrow. The softball team took on Cremonine this past Thursday. We lost 9 to 4. And we had a big win against Eisenhower, 17 to 2. The girls played Door Ridge on Monday. We have we hope to have a score on tomorrow's show. The team is currently six and eight overall, four and two in conference. The softball team plays Cake and Key tomorrow. That's it for sports. Let's take it back to Jasmine. Before we go, don't forget that there is no school this Friday, April 28th. That's Bloom Scene. Teachers and staff, remember to email your announcements to Mr. Cook and we will see you here again.